Okay, guys, these are 2010 to 11 Lasco Weather Shield 20 inch fan I picked up today for 5 bucks. And it's a bit too new for me, but I've always wanted a Weather Shield, so I figured why not. Kind of sucks it's not one with the big motor, but whatever. It's alright. This one's definitely been used hard. It's really, really dirty. It's going to take quite a bit of cleaning to get this one clean, I'm sure. It's got the blue knob and the handle that I like because these ones are a lot harder to break than a standard Glasgow handle, which is just too damn easy to break. Here's the back. This thing has one dirty motor. I don't know how it survived, but that motor is going to get all cleaned and all these vents are going to disappear so that it can get plenty of air because I plan on using the crap out of this fan. New fans don't get brakes around here. Who cares? They're new. They'll live. Here's Lowell. Being as dirty as it is, it actually still moves a good bit of air. These weather shields are the last good fan Lasco ever made, in my opinion. They still move a good amount of air. And they seem to last a lot longer than regular Lascos do. They must have a stronger thermal fuse or something. Normal Lasco, this dirty wouldn't move any air at all, but this one's pushing... About as much air as a normal one would on low when it's clean. Here's medium. So I'd make a good window fan. That's what I bought it for. Use it in a window. I like the way the girls are set up on these too. How they have the little ring that goes around to make all the air come straight out. I thought that was a good idea. And here's high. This thing wants to knock itself over. This is bigger than a normal Lasco too, by a lot. It's a lot taller and thicker. It's good air too. I bet when this thing's cleaned up, it'll be real powerful. I'll start it off. If I can find it somewhere, I have a motor from a 2001 to 2 Lasco, and I bet if I put that motor in here, this thing would be ridiculously powerful. So I hope that thing turns up. Either that or I was thinking, since it has a small shaft, maybe if I find a spare one, just put a McMillan in it. That would take care of all its power problems. It'd be a real powerful fan then. Anyway, I'll get this one all cleaned up, and I'll probably get another video of it, because this is a fan I plan on keeping around for a while. At least till it dies, then I'll probably hit it with a truck going about 30 miles an hour. That's a good death for fans, don't you think? Yeah, I guess it was alright for 5 bucks. Probably could have spent my money better, but for a weather shield, and I was wanting one, it's alright. I got a Toastmaster along with this too, but that thing's all screwed up. The speeds are in the wrong places, the motor's howling. It's going to take a lot of work before that one will be anywhere near usable. But anyway, that's it for this video, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed and look for a video of this fan fixed up sometime soon.